happening today. Dozens more run from the violence and unrest in Haiti. They're expected to arrive here in South Florida today, nearly a month since the latest episode of gang fueled violence began. Haiti's Sunrise Airways, which launched services to Miami International mm -hmm. back in October, says it's going to resume its operations starting today. Yeah, CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner. She's live at MIA with details. And you know, Morgan, this is on top of efforts by the State Department and the state of Florida to evacuate U.S. citizens, correct? Yeah, good morning. And I checked this morning, and it looks like all of the flights to Miami International Airport are already full this week. The next available flight is for next Wednesday. That cost comes at close to $1,000. While these flights come as a relief to many, the big challenge is going to be getting to the airport in Haiti. Haiti-based Sunrise Airways announced they will operate flights three days this week out of Cap Haitian, a city north of Port-au-Prince. U.S. green card holders, Haitian nationals, and others with proper documents can take advantage to get out of war-torn Haiti. U.S. diplomat Steve Strickland monitors the safety of those trying to flee. There's nothing like Port-au-Prince. The security situations here are nothing like anything I've experienced before. Um, I've spent time in Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, uh, Iraq, um, in Africa. And uh, the, unique, uh, the unique circumstances here, um, I have not seen a parallel to those in any other uh, security environment that I've served. He said some have already canceled their spots on the flights because of safety fears. It just really is an unfortunate. The, the security resources that we have are stretched so thin, the ability to, to do that um, is, is it's really a non-starter. We just don't have uh, that, that capacity to do it. We'd love to do it. It's just simply an impossibility, unfortunately. The gang takeover led Sunrise Airways to cancel all domestic flights after three of its planes were hit by bullets. U.S. Airways services like JetBlue, American, and Spirit have not flown in Haiti since March 4th after the gangs attempted to take over the airport in the capital. The Florida Division of Emergency Management says the state has successfully rescued 35 Five Americans in total so far from Haiti through state coordinated emergency flights. Posting on Twitter Sunday evening, FDME said they rescued nine more Floridians and will keep working to ensure residents are getting home to their families. That incoming flight from Cap Haitian is supposed to land here around 1140 this morning. So far, it says that it is on time. Of course, CBS News Miami is monitoring all of today's developments and will keep you updated on the latest. I'm live at Miami International Airport, Morgan Reiner, CBS News Miami.